Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel, New UK Beekeeper. So today I'm going to be doing my first full hive inspection of the nuke colony, hive number one that I purchased and installed last weekend. It's been six days now, and it's, uh, yeah, it's Saturday the 3rd I think of July, of June now sorry. Um, so I did make a couple of mistakes when I first purchased the frames for this hive, so I purchased the SM1 frames rather than the SM4s, but I do now have the spacers to put on there, so I'll be putting the spacers on as well. Another mistake that I realised I made after going to my first bee meeting was uh, I haven't put a dummy board in there basically, so there's 11 frames in there but no dummy board, meaning there's too much space on either side or at least on one side of the hive, so I'm going to put in another frame a foundation at the moment just until my dummy boards arrive and then I'll put the dummy boards in to make sure there's, there's not, not too much of a gap on the side basically so um, yeah you'll see on the on the right hand side here on my left your right um, my new colony of bees this is the full colony that I've just put there and um, they're just doing their orientation flights at the moment so I'll be doing the first minor inspection of those either later on today or, or tomorrow at some point just to sort of see how they're getting on take the mesh from the top and also put on a super as apparently the bee box is full so okay let's get on with it so they've taken a lot of the sugar syrup um this has been this was filled up twice in the week so they're certainly taking the syrup, which is obviously good. So let's just get this super off. I think that stickiness is actually caused by the paint. So I might have to address that. Let's just move those. Handy. Just give them a little bit of a smoke inside the clown board. just going to place the crown board on the ramp to the entrance so that any of the bees that haven't been out of the hive before can just work their way back up and walk back in without being able to get without getting lost basically so a little bit of smoke one out there's nothing on these frames here they are starting to certainly starting to draw this frame on the outside They're filling it with nectar and pollen show you that there on that side and on this side there's, there's nothing on there really so move that down there this one certainly looks Pretty full. So we've got cat's brood in there.
and then the queen on this side as well so the queen is just just there with the yellow spot so lots of lots of cats brood on there same on this side I'll show you both of these can't see any eggs the light isn't great though definitely larvae in there Queen must be laying in here. Let's try and get it into the sun. I'll just put this one back in. trial gloves and these are far far better again lots of cats brood in there Some larvae. Again, more cats brood. Some dripping honey from the cells that I've just burst at the top when I took it off. Some came on the bottom there. I'll just take off. So it is. This is the more cat brood as you can see and these are being nice and gentle again now so that's that's positive actually on that previous one i'm just gonna there's no no bear came on there No queen cups or queen cells. I'm oh, sorry, there's a queen cup there. Let's just have a look there actually. No egg 
eggs in there though, so you can see just there are the queen cups. Just there and there, but not concerned about those. These are being much, much more gentle this week. More cat brood, a little bit of burping in there, which I'll just peel off. More cat brood there. So again, I think a lot of these were from from last week, so a lot of these I think are going to be hatching out relatively soon. Hopefully you can see that. No more, no more queen cups on that side. These look like happy bees. Very young larvae in here. Looks like she's been laying on here relatively recently. Maybe some eggs in here as well. Yeah, this one wasn't happy, is it? Yeah, some young larvae. Nice colour. No indication of disease. Very young larvae, so she's been laying in there pretty recently. I can't see the eggs. I'm not concerned that I can't see the eggs though. You can clearly see the This is one of the New frames. They seem to be filling out pretty nicely with pollen and honey and nectar. Just to and that frame is on that side of the frame is pretty much out. So what I'll do, I'll put this one back in this way around to encourage them to draw this side of the comb out. So I'll just take out this frame again just to show you, I don't think I forgot to show you this frame. This is the frame with some cat's brood, some young larvae, some medium age larvae. Possibly some eggs as well, but can't really see the eggs. There's just too many, too many bees on there to be able to see, unless I shake them out, which I don't really want to do at the moment. Maybe in a couple of weeks' time, when I'm going to settle down a bit more. And then the other two frames are empty. I don't think that's really so what we'll do, start putting these spaces on. I'll 
think I've just realised I've got the wrong spacers. I think I should have the narrow spacers for the air, for the brew box. So I shall quickly run and get the other spacers. Narrow spacers. I'm getting a little bit agitated now. Just doing a little bit of a smoke. Where the queen has gone. Slightly worrying. Is she on this one? Oh yeah, so she's on this one. You. I thought she'd fallen off. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Move these back up. Oh, I just can't get what I might try and do. Just straight, whatever. Here. On this side. Again. Unhappy again. Hopefully now we just get a couple of couple of spacers, one on each end. It's not ideal taking it from this way, but Very gently. Put this back in here. And back up. Nicely butted up now. And we've got the glass frame in, which is going to act as a temporary frame just until the dummy board comes. And I'm not going to put a. Uh, I'm not going to put a spacer on those. So everything looks good in there. Happy with that. What I might just do is take off this 
brace comb from the top. this and down here crown ball back on get the sugar syrup I was, I was actually concerned when I first saw that this was being taken quite readily that actually it wasn't they weren't necessarily drawing it and it was just dripping through so um, also nice to see that actually it's not dripping through they are they are actually sort of taking it in there's obviously still quite a lot of home to draw out on those frames so certainly be keeping this on here for the foreseeable back in super back on again this is just to cover the feeders I am actually still waiting for the rapid feeder which I ordered last weekend but still hasn't come from Amazon yet so not exactly a speedy delivery from there. And finally the lid. So that is hive inspection number one complete. Something else I've also seen done elsewhere to stop the smoker uh, and to save the fuel is stuff a load of glass in it apparently um, into the chimney funnel or whatever you, whatever it's called um, hopefully that'll put it out then extinguish the flames and save whatever whatever fuel is in there for for next time Hopefully that will um, extinguish in a minute. I did just replace the grass in actually it wasn't uh, completely fully uh, filling the funnel or the chimney or whatever it's called so I filled it with some more denser grass and that does now seem to have gone out so um, that works quite well so any fuel that's left in there now I can use next time and it's not wasted so that is that done. Like one last thing just to show you is my hive inspection sheet obviously it's the first time I've ever done one of these because it's my first proper inspection just make sure that this can be seen actually just move this a little bit closer I'm not sure how visible this will actually be on the video but um, hive inspection sheet apiary, uh, apiary name I've actually called this the Ruby Aviary. 
as we had a cat called Ruby up until uh, about a month and a half, two months ago, but she sadly passed away. So in her memory, I've named the apiary Ruby Apiary. So hive ID, this is uh, hive number one. Dates 3rd of the 6th, 17. Inspection carried out by myself and Harris. First item on there is hive temperament, and they were definitely calm. They did get a little bit tested towards the end, but only because I'd been in there quite a while. Um, I definitely saw the queen. Was she March? Yes, she is March. What colour? It's a yellow laying pattern. The choices are beautiful, mediocre, or poor. And I would say that's beautiful, as in solid and uniform. So I'll tick that box. Egg scene? No, but I think that's mainly because of my um, inexperience. lack of experience and also a lot of um, lots of bees on the on the frames which as I mentioned I didn't, I didn't really want to shake them off uh, yeah have, having having been on the basis that they've only been here for a week I don't want to disturb them any more than I really had to so uh, maybe in a couple of weeks I'll if, if I can't spot them whilst the bees are on there I'll, I'll shake them in and just have a proper look so I can get used to actually looking for, egg, for, for eggs. Population, heavy, moderate or low, still obviously low population, it was only a, a nuke last week, so six days ago. Excessive drone cells, I didn't actually see any drone cells at all, to be honest I wasn't actually specifically looking, so, um, but I would have, yeah, I would have spotted them if, if, it, had, if it had been loads there. Um, drone population estimate, I'm going to say low, low, less than 30. Um, I actually went on my first uh, bee club meeting visit to the apiary last week and when we were looking at the hives there, the, the, the drones were just in instantly visible. You could just see them straight away, so um, yeah, there definitely wasn't huge amounts of drones in there. Queen cells? No, there was no queen cells. There was a couple of queen cups, but there was nothing in there. Um, disease or pests? I didn't, certainly didn't see anything. Um, I've not obviously checked for, for mites or Nassima, um chalk brood. Actually no I no I did check for chalk broods. I was looking at I was looking at the at the larva. All of the larvae looked nice, it looks healthy, um, it all looks the right sort of pearly colour which it should be. And again European fowl brood or American fowl brood. Again uh, I'm gonna say there's nothing in there. I don't really know hugely what I'm looking for other than what I've seen on YouTube but it certainly seems okay to me. Uh, Food stores, I would say, and the choices there for honey are high, average, low, or near broods, and I'd probably say average. So there's plenty of food in there to keep them going. Um, pollen, again, probably average. Um, hive condition: normal brace comb, excessive propolis, normal odor, foul odor, or damage. So I'd say it was normal. There was a little bit of brace comb, but I wouldn't say there was excessive propolis. It was normal odor. Uh, actions taken, so I fed the hives, I fed the hive, I haven't split the hive, I've not added an excluder, obviously because there's no super on there yet, I've not requeened, I haven't added a feeder because there's already a feeder on there, and I haven't swapped any of the brew boxes, brew boxes. there's no medications being given, and I'm not going to add any recommendations into there, so uh, that's it for the hive inspection sheet, so that's this one done. Okay, so that's my first ever proper hive inspection completed. Everything as, is as what I thought it would be. Broods are looking good, number of bees are looking good, stores are looking good. Um, yeah, I don't really think there's anything unexpected in there. I was happy to see there's lots of brood. The, the, the queen is obviously laying, although I didn't see any eggs. Not concerned, I just don't know what I'm really looking for, to be honest. Well, I know what I'm looking for, but my, my eye isn't in it yet, let's, let's, let's say. Um, hopefully in a couple of weeks I'll be able to start seeing those. Um, yeah, brood was all good, larvae all looking healthy, everything looking healthy. The frames are being drawn out, um, they're obviously taking the food so I'm all happy. Uh, the next one to do now is hive number two, this one here. They're obviously still doing their orientation flights at the moment. It was literally only put there an hour and a half maybe. Um, so. I'll come back later, see how they're doing with that one. If they're still doing loads of orientation flights, I shall leave it until tomorrow morning or tomorrow sort of lunchtime-ish. 
and then I'll go in and have a quick look. I'm not going to do too much with them. I'll just take the mesh off, add on the super, and then I'll do a full inspection next week, uh, as I've done in here. Obviously, this one will be a lot busier, as that is a full colony of bees, so that should be interesting. Okay, so that's all. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the video, could I ask you that you like the video on, on YouTube? I'd really appreciate that. And if you want to sort of see... Uh, whenever my videos are posted, please do click subscribe and you'll get a notification uh, whenever I post a new video. Um, I'll post this one separately, I'll post a new one tomorrow to show this one here being uh, set up with the soup and everything. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.